Get ready with me as I rank the top lab abnormalities that might be holding you back from weight loss. I'm a board certified metabolic health and obesity medicine specialist, and this is all I do every day, all day, so let's get into it. First up is vitamin B12. So vitamin B12, when it's low, your energy levels are incredibly low. And although some of the human data is out, rat models show that when your B12 is low, there are higher levels of adiposity or fat mass. So checking for this and supplementing appropriately is a good place to start. Next up is TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. So if this number is high, it means that your thyroid is underactive or you have hypothyroidism. And for years, I think because of the Oprah effect, everyone thought that their thyroid was the cause of weight gain. And it's not as dramatic as you might think, but if you have hypothyroidism, you put on at least 10 pounds and this is due to a decreased basal metabolic rate and increased water and salt retention. Next up is actually a set of labs. It's a trifecta. So it is a combination of low HDL, high triglycerides, and high fasting blood sugar. And when I see these three things together, it means that someone has metabolic syndrome. And this is actually a very common presentation among someone who says, I just keep gaining weight and I can't lose weight at all. And when I find metabolic syndrome, it means that there's an imbalance in how your body is processing carbohydrates and it's blood sugar and insulin levels. And this is a signal that you really do need to not only consider medications for weight loss, but we need to focus on carbohydrate restriction. Next up is vitamin D deficiency. So this is really common. At least 40% of Americans have insufficient levels. Um, and why this is important in obesity is that actually we see that fat mass impairs the ability of the body to convert to the active form of vitamin D. And when we supplement, we see that vitamin D supplementation can almost be as effective in glucose and sugar and fat metabolism as exercise. I just went off camera to do my mascara because I'm not that talented. And can I just say thank you, TikTok, for this amazing recommendation? And finally, the most important lab marker is fasting insulin. So this is not actually something that's routinely checked at the doctor's offices, but I use it on every single patient and match it up with their fasting glucose and calculate something called a HOMA IR score to calculate early insulin resistance. And this is the thing that's holding most people back from weight loss and actually leading to significant weight gain. Insulin resistance is when our body has an imbalance between the carbohydrates it sees, the insulin levels that its pancreas releases, and its blood sugar. And when we can normalize this, we can really tap into our fat stores and get weight loss going. So I want to know, have you seen any of these lab abnormalities? Comment below.